A North Texas mother has spent the better part of the day fighting to get her young son back from CPS custody. This is after he was taken from her. It all started as a dispute over medical care. Caroline Vandergriff has spent the day in that hearing in Denton as well, and I understand a decision has just been made. That's right, Doug. The judge just decided that Josiah Sanders would not be returned to his mother's custody today. He said based on all the evidence, he simply doesn't find her testimony credible. He said he really didn't believe her when she said these medical providers didn't give her the information about her son, that he was severely malnourished and that he needed more intense inpatient therapy. Now, basically, he said the department had no other recourse but to take the child, and he found there was sufficient evidence that there was danger to the health and safety of the child, which was caused by a failure to act on his mother's part. This is what the state has been arguing, that there were three complaints of medical neglect in the past, in a seven-month period for this mother, while the mother, Jocelyn Sanders, she spent about three hours on the stand detailing the treatment she did receive for her son and essentially arguing she did everything within her, her power to take care of him. But again, the judge said he simply didn't believe her. He was very candid with that, and he felt the best course of action at this point was to keep Josiah in his current placement, in his situation, because he is thriving, he is getting better. Now we're waiting for the family to leave the courtroom at this moment, and as they come this way, we're going to try to talk to them to see if they have any reaction to this news, and we will, of course, bring you that later as soon as we can get it. Doug? All right. Looks like they may be coming down the hallway. Caroline, we'll let you speak with them. Uh, meantime, thank you for the update from Denton. Caroline Vandergriff.